Okay, here we have our standard Santoku. This is in CPM Magna Cut, and I did a lovely acid wash to it, so I used wax to get this kind of full hormone, and then just a little splotches to give it that kind of creative, unique look. The handle material, this is an AAO Burgundy resin, and this is stabilized, stabilized black ash burl. And I did a little bit of a contrast thing with, with G10 pins here. You can kind of see those two in the video. And then there's another burgundy one here. So those three are burgundy, and then used a little ivory there on, on the outsides. Um, so giving you a few stats on this knife, this blade length is seven and a half inches long. It is two inches deep from heel to spine. The handle is four and a quarter inches, and that gives us an overall length of 11 and three quarter inches. So then the question becomes, what would you use a Santoku for? So this is really the closest thing to an all-purpose chef's knife that the Japanese have. Uh, you have a very long flat here with a little bit of a belly. So if you want to, you can rock chop. Where this knife really excels is push cutting because when you get down to the cutting board, all of that flat surface will be hitting the cutting board at the same time. So you don't have to pull through like to cut vegetables or meat all the way through. Basically when you hit the flat, like it, you'll be all the way cut through whatever it is you are cutting. Um, Santoku literally means three out of one. So this knife is designed for fish, meat, and veg. Um, the closest thing they have to an all purpose chef's knife. So if you're interested, take a look. It's on the website now. Thank you, Mike.